next guest is an actor and young man of extraordinary lineage with a new movie alongside co-star and director Amy Poehler. Moxie is on Netflix now. Please welcome Patrick Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Did, ah. did Rogan give you any samples uh, backstage? I there? was trying to sniff him out. I couldn't. I couldn't find him. <laughs> I couldn't Is find that him something anywhere. you're interested in? In in marijuana? Yes. Yes. No, marijuana. I'm not. I used to be. Ex I used to be like him. Actually. Really? Yes. I wasn't like doing pots and pans and all that kind of weird stuff. But <laughs> I uh, I used to smoke every every day. Pots and Pans would be a great name for a high movie review show. Right? That's what I should do. But I used to, no, I used to, to the point where I couldn't eat uh, ice cream. I couldn't do anything without smoking. Really? Yeah, and then we went to uh, Easter brunch one day, and I was high. Oh. And uh, my dad sits down next to me, and he said, are you high? And I said, yes. And he said, why would you ever want to be high? You have the best life in the world. Why would you ever want to take something out of your life? Take you out of your life? Yeah. And then I never smoked since. Really? Yeah. Wow, wait a minute. Five, five years. What kind of pot was that? The, the pot that makes you listen to your dad? Yeah, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of like a bad trip situation for that day. And then, yeah, I don't know. I they got to start it, pumping that through the schools. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, and when did you decided... You, politics is in your family, obviously, on both sides. Correct. Why did you decide you wanted to be an actor? Yeah, you know, um, one day, I was sitting next to my dad once again, mm -hmm. and we were watching uh, Hercules in New York. One of his first films. Right, I remember a, that he had, one. He had a gap in his teeth like this big, couldn't speak a lick of English. And I was sitting there, and he was so bad. And he was, he was awful. And I was like, wow, you are this successful, and you are this bad in this movie. I'm giving acting a shot. <laughs> and, uh, Seemed easy. It's so easy. No, no I, I mean, that's, yeah. But I, I really grew up going on set with him. I fell in love with it. and. Uh, and uh, it's been a really fun journey. Did you ever have regular jobs? I did. What did you do? I did. I, uh, I well, you know, I have my own pizza joint called Blaze Pizza. Oh, that's uh, your place? Yeah, well, we, now I sold it, it's oh. done. Uh, it's not done, it's still operating, but I'm out of it. Okay. So for a few years I was there uh, making, you know, making the pies for some people. Wow. And, uh, and then I used to work for uh, Rick Caruso at The Grove. The here Grove is a, a local mall here, yes, like exactly. a really nice mall. Really high-end, upscale mall. And um, I did everything there. I did uh, valet, security, property really? walks, uh, lease management tours. Uh, I have a really funny story of one time I was on. So, so Rick Caruso, every, every week he wanted you to work at a different area in the Grove so that you understood that, you know, every little part of the Grove is what makes the Grove so amazing. I see. And I was a security guard for the week. Meanwhile, I have my own security guards for me because my dad was governor, right? Wait a minute. So, so you're doing security and you have security? Exactly. So I'm like a 15-year-old kid with an earpiece and his thing, like a suit jacket. And I'm like, okay. And I show up for work and they're like, okay, you're... Um, your security for Paris Hilton today. She's got her book tour. She's coming to the Grove. She's going to be signing autographs. And I'm like, OK, I know Paris, uh, but OK. And so she gets out of the car. Paris has a security guard that used to work for my dad. I show up. I greet Paris. And she's like, Patrick? Schwarzenegger, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm your security guard for the day. And. Um, that was it. Wow. That was a fun experience. Oh, that sounds like a movie. I mean, that's yeah, something you right? got to write up. Yeah, it was great. It was <laughs> that fun. is really strange. What a weird place to grow up. I mean, it's funny. I mean, it's got to be weird. Your parents are both famous just to start with. You got donkeys running around the house. You got horses <laughs> that are tiny running around the house. Yep. But it's, uh, I think it probably, I mean, I just, like, I grew up in Las Vegas, and I never realized it was a strange thing to, to Vegas do. Vegas is pretty strange. Until people said, like, oh, wow, you grew up in Vegas? They're like, oh, yeah. Now you're like, oh. Oh, yeah, Conan was my dad, yeah. is my dad, yep. yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got this weird, like, three-fourths through life crisis right now where he has, like, a donkey and a pony and yeah, a Yeah, I know that. And, yeah, he and then he's got this of massive, that. like, 200-pound husky, and then he's got, like, a three-pound Yorkshire Terrier that just sits <laughs> on his knee.
<laughs> so he's like this massive guy in his huge chair with a little Yorkshire Terrier on his knee. It's uh, it's a, it's an odd dynamic. But that is crazy. Fun. Yeah. Now you did this movie with Amy Poehler, which yep. is pretty great. Yep. It, is uh, is this something? Did you know Amy beforehand? I actually didn't. You did. I never met Amy until we were in the audition room. Chris Pratt, your brother-in-law, he yeah. and Amy were on Parks and Recreation together. Yeah. Did you ask him to put in a word for you? As I, you... I didn't. You did not? No. no. Oh. I don't know if that would have been comfortable, if I would have been comfortable doing that. I probably should have, but uh, I'll, I'll keep that IOU for the future. It seemed to have worked out okay. It did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As far as COVID goes, do you move back in with your parents? I did. You moved I in moved with who? Back... Yeah, that was another odd dynamic. It was uh, me, my girlfriend, and my mom. Really? To in living together in a house? Yeah. How long had it been since you'd lived together? Since high school. Since high school? Yeah. And you play a high school, high school student in this student. movie. Yeah. So it's yeah. almost as if you were preparing for that. I did a lot of method, and I went, so I moved back home with my mom. I actually <laughs> went back to school. I went to high school for a year and a half to really study this character. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's... So you're serious. I'm, you're not kidding around no, at all about that. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, the movie is called Moxie. It's on Netflix yeah. now. Congratulations Thank you. on that. Thank Patrick you. Schwarzenegger, everybody. We'll be right back with music from Daddy. Yankee. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.